I forgot to mention, the lateral horn itself is only present in the thoracolumbar region. Why? Because of the presence of this nucleus. And this nucleus is known as, it's a quite long name, the preganglionic sympathetic outflow. I'll label it here. Preganglionic sympathetic outflow. Let's put this here so it's easy to appreciate. It is from this nucleus that you have your sympathetic discharge. They will pass through the spinal nerve and through the spinal nerve they'll go through the gray ramus. The gray ramus will communicate with the sympathetic chain on the sides. You can't see them here but once we do autonomic nervous systems we'll go into more details. So here is the source of all your sympathetic supply. Parasympathetic, however, comes from the sacral region and cervical region where you have all your parasympathetic nerves. We'll do that separately once again. The sympathetic only comes from the thoracolumbar region. The ass is in the viva and in the MCQs. So you have two in the backside, two in the middle. Now we come to the front. In the front, and let's use a different color this time. I should have used the red for the motor and the blue for the sensory because the all the sensory are over here and they should be blue it's not really a, a, a hard and fast rule just a common color scheme they use the motor up in the front when the nucleus is in the front generally throughout the length you will have a medial group and a lateral group the medial group will supply the axial muscles the axial muscles mean the ones on your neck your thorax your abdomen the muscles in the center. The lateral group will supply the limbs. So it makes sense that you only find this nucleus near the brachial plexus which supplies the upper limb and the lumbar plexus which supplies the lower limb, the lateral group. You won't find these in other parts. And keep in mind from this nucleus there are two types actually for each. You have, uh, well not the nucleus itself but the afferents which lead them. You have your alpha efferents and the gamma efferents. The alpha efferents, they will go and supply the extrafusal fibers. The extrafusal fiber means the outside of the muscle. If you were to draw a muscle here, just for your... Let's imagine this is one fusiform biceps. The outer part in black is your extrafusal fibers. In the center, let's use yellow here. This is your intrafusal fiber. So the intrafusal fibers will be supplied by the gamma efferents. Again, both these fibers will pass through the rootlets, the ventral root, and the spinal nerve. As I mentioned, okay, the spinal.